President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and First Lady Ms. Intisar al-Sisi attended on Wednesday a celebration honoring Egyptian women and mothers. During the ceremony, President al-Sisi honored a number of idol mothers and uh, Egyptian women in several fields for the year 2022. Addressing the celebration, the President expressed greetings to mothers who passed away and praised all mothers' great sacrifices to their families. The head of state stressed the significance of women's empowerment in various domains and reiterated that he pledged to enable women enjoying all positions in the state institutions. The CC pointed out to the latest achievements through presidential initiatives, which provided all needs for women during the past years. In her speech addressing the event, head of the National Council for Women, Dr. Maya Mursi, asserted that President Assisi's era has enhanced women's empowerment in various fields. Mursi pointed out to the importance of the Egyptian women in the society, who embody the characteristics of courage, power and patience. During the celebration, the Minister of Social Solidarity, Naveen al qabbej addressed the event, where she reviewed efforts taken to support Egyptian women and mothers' rights through the ministry's program and projects. Minister of Planning and Economic Development, Hela Saeed, also gave a speech during the event. She said the Decent Life Initiative has provided education and health care services for more than 54 billion women across the country through the previous year. The Saeed added that the, under the directives of President Assisi, a program was launched for boosting women's leadership skills and supporting women empowerment in all state institutions. Meanwhile, a documentary was displayed during the celebration reviewing the different roles women played in several domains and achievements occurred in the field of women empowerment during the past years. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, to shed more light uh, on uh, the uh, celebration held today and attended by President Abel Fatah el-Sisi, we're glad to be joined over the phone by Ambassador Mushira Khattab, uh, head of the National Council for Human Rights. Uh, good afternoon, Ambassador Mushira. Ambassador Mushira, can you hear me? Hello. Ambassador Khattab, good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Ambassador Khattab, how do you read the messages uh, that President El-Sisi sent uh, to Egyptian women today in the celebration held today uh, and uh, attended by His Excellency? Well, uh, really, I, uh, I don't know what to tell you about this great day. It was uh, an exceptional uh, event today, though we, uh, we have it every year, but uh, really what happened today, uh, uh, I don't know, it's, it's uh, you know, if you want to put a, a label on what happened uh, today, it's uh, how mature have we become, uh, the relationship between the president and the women of Egypt has progressed in a, an amazing uh, manner, the communication, uh, how the president looked at women and their role. If I can just flag some of the issues he spoke about, he, he started by talking about the global economic crisis mm -hmm. and the role of women in navigating through any crisis. Another issue which he uh, uh, looked at is the status of women in any society is the, uh, the yardstick. Yes. Or it, it, it really shows you the level of uh, development or uh, welfare in any society. A strong nation is a nation where women enjoy the rights. Mm -hmm. uh, and the president, uh, after he spoke about uh, the heroic role of women in navigating the current global crisis, he moved on to domestic violence. Yes. He moved on to mm -hmm. call for revising the criminal procedure code to criminalize the corporal punishment and violence against women. Really, it's, 
Um, I, I was very, very impressed by, uh, first of all, uh, transparency, uh, no exaggeration of any problem, and at the same time, we do not belittle any challenge. Yes. Very transparent, very down to earth. The positive vibe in in the the, the 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 place, in the room, in the theater, was amazing. Really, it gave me the shivers. How how uh, 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 the president moved with ease. Yes. It was not a president performing an official role or a formal uh, uh, function, but a human being, you know, uh, within uh, a very friendly environment. Yes. Uh, we all know that uh, Egyptian women played a heroic role on the 30th of June to, to bring President Sisi to the seat of the presidency. It was yes. the courage of the Egyptian women. And since sure. this day, the president has spared no effort mm -hmm. to fight for the rights of women. And today he spoke about women's rights. Mm -hmm. It's not, you're not giving a charity to women, but it's mm -hmm. the woman. The woman has a right. And it was basically the right to dignity. Every issue he dealt with he dealt with it in recognition of the right to dignity when uh, when he spoke about Hagga Mecca and when we saw the lady on the wheelchair how he went down to her and how he insisted to navigate her uh, wheelchair to put her back uh, in the row where she was sitting before he honored her with the with the award, uh, so really it it it, it's, uh, it touched my heart. And when you look at the the, the ladies honoured by the president, you see the the diversity, Hagga Mecca and Farida Fahmi. Yes, it's uh, I, I'm very happy. Very, very happy to see the president honoring Farida Fahmi. For me, Farida Fahmi is an icon of uh, a Renaissance uh, era uh, where the soft power of Egypt was at its highest uh, level. Yes. Uh, and uh, really, I, I was very honored to meet her and greet her today. Sure. And was very happy to see her honored by the president for the role she played for yes. the She's a, for she the was an icon. She's an yes, icon. She, she she is an icon. Yes. And, and and also what I like is the president speaking to the people about the current global crisis, mm -hmm. its impact on Egypt because we are part of the world and this is touching on every single. Uh, uh, country, and how he spoke about the food supply, yes. and he said, it's available. You want to buy as much as you want, you can go and buy all you want. We have put more supply in the market, we have no shortage, and, and you know, with great ease, he said, we have no mm -hmm. problem with this. Mm -hmm. Yet, on the other hand, he stressed responsible consumption. Mm -hmm. And this is something that we need to remember and we need to follow, especially that Ramadan is approaching. We have to be sensible with our consumption and avoid waste because there are many people out there wanting or needing. So I, I, I really, uh, I was very proud sitting, watching uh, what was going on in uh, the, 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 the room and how the relationship between the president and the women of Egypt is growing every day stronger than ever. And he said, my support to women is out of conviction of her great, great role. Mm -hmm. And this is true. Women play a, a very a crucial role. Sometimes people take it for granted, but this president reminds us always Mm -hmm. that we owe it to women. 
we owe it to women. And uh, right. another point right. he spoke. Well, uh, right. Uh, go ahead, Dr. Uh, Ambassador Mishira. Another point he, he stressed when he spoke about the fact that Egypt has uh, uh, completed its fiscal and economic reform. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, the reason why we were able to handle the pandemic without uh, uh, losses that we have seen in other developed not only developing, but developed countries, he said, because the people were responsible. The people were um, sensible. And, uh, and this is a rare moment. You don't always sure. uh, hear uh, uh, leaders speaking about uh, the role that their people played to help them uh, carry on with their task. But this president, is very, he, he speaks with great humility. Mm. He speaks with, uh, you know, he says, I am not a president. I am not up there. I am one of, 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 of many people, which really breaks all barriers between mm. him and any ordinary uh, citizen. We've seen Hagga Makkah when she, she shouted from far. Definitely, and he said, uh, is this Hagga Makkah? Ambassador Mashira, uh, thank you very much. It was really a great celebration. And uh, I would like to thank you very much, uh, Ambassador Mushira Khattab, head of the National Council for Human Rights. Many thanks for your insight. And uh, dear viewers, uh, moving on to uh, our main topic, uh, which is uh, industry in Egypt. We're going to be uh, moving now to our special report on uh, President Sisi urging and focusing on localizing industry. More details. President Fattah Sisi urged localizing the industry and technology regarding the construction and infrastructure sectors as he met with senior officials this week. According to the presidency, this directive is because of the direct impact of industry localization with the participation of the business community in various development sectors on implementation rates and support for the comprehensive development process in the country, as well as the rationalization of imports. The presidential spokesman stated that the meeting touched on the efforts made by the government to expand domestic production that's in addition to the National Program for Import Substitution. During the meeting, President Assisi was briefed on the progress regarding a number of construction projects in the new administrative capital, as well as the executive status of Egypt's international city for Olympic Games. The President also reviewed progress of the new roads and axes projects constructed nationwide, in addition to efforts exerted by the government to develop airports in South Sinai, especially the airports of Sharm el-Sheikh, el Tour, and St. Catherine, as well as Hergada's airport. This is besides the development of the entrances and roads in Sharm el-Sheikh, which is scheduled to host the UN Climate Change Conference, the COP27, in November 2022. Worth mentioning that President Assisi issued instructions for conducting in-depth studies on the transfer of modern industrial technology in high priority fields by going into partnership with major international companies in a manner that ensures the sustainability of industries in Egypt in the long term. Egypt has 100 million kilometers. Egypt has 100 million kilometers. 